Hi guys, it's Carol. This is the third video I'm doing tonight. It is now 20 till 2 in the morning. <laughs> um, I tell you, in my last video, I was picking something out of my eyelashes. There's a hair or something in my eyelashes driving me crazy. I know I already gave a shout out to this channel. But... I want to tell you something else about her channel. I it, they, These two people are just delightful. Um, it's called Mima and Gigi's Place. I'll put up the little thing up here. Uh, I gave her a shout out last week. And then uh, I had watched a couple of her videos. And then I haven't had time to watch any... Uh, I just can't keep up with all the people I want to watch. I don't have enough hours in the day. But anyway, I went over there tonight, and she has a recipe for jalapeno. Oh, I've got to turn the sound off. Hang on, hang on. Jalapeno popper tater tot casserole. It looks so good. I am going to make this sometime. When I do, I'll probably make a video, but I will give her credit and send you back to her channel so you can watch her make it. I don't want to steal her idea, but I'm going to make it, and I'll probably show you. And then she made um, an enchilada casserole. Now, my granddaughter, Taylor, her favorite thing in the world is enchilada casserole. We eat that more than anything else, because when she comes to the grandma, she likes for me to make that. They made one in the crock pot. We make ours with red enchilada sauce. She made hers with green enchilada sauce. Looked so good. I'm, I'm going to show Taylor this rec recipe and we'll try it next time. Um, looked really, really good. So if you like Mexican food, go over to Mima and Gigi's channel and look at some of her recipes. She um, has a lot of recipes. I haven't seen all of her videos, so I don't know what else. But those two are like uh, in the last week or two I thought they looked so good and I want to make them she has a contest going on now the her video seven hours ago they're doing Christmas in July is uh football snacks is what she was making in that one she's a she's just a good cook but anyway she has a contest going she has a jar a uh, container of some kind that she has filled with buttons and she's having a contest to give it away at like a spa basket of treats for a woman. Uh, you guess the number of buttons in the container. And each time she puts up a, a Christmas in July video, you can guess again for each video that I guess there should be eight in July. I think she does twice a week. Anyway, plus she has the coolest idea. I mean, I swear this channel is going to be a fantastic channel. It's going to be big one of these days because she has such wonderful ideas. She wants to do a movie, kind of like a movie night. Pick a movie. Everybody watch this movie. And she plans to do uh, create snacks to go on, go with that movie theme. Um, I, I just thought it was a great idea. Um, she wanted clean movies. Um, I don't know. You'll just have to go over, go over to her channel. It's the video she posted earlier today where she's making the football snacks that she talks about. Uh, she wants more intera interaction with her subs. I think it's a fantastic idea about everybody watch this movie. Uh, pick a movie and everybody watch it and do some different things. And she wants to... I don't know. She just has great ideas. I want you to, if you didn't go over there, I know that two of my subs went over and su subscribed, at least two. Um, but if you like Mexican food, go look at those two recipes. I'm going to try both of them. I, I, I thought they looked delicious. And I loved her uh, movie idea. So go watch that. And my brain's already forgotten three-fourths of what she said about it. But I thought it was such a cute idea. Uh, so I want to give her another plug, Mima and Jean Gigi's Place. And then um, 
Oh, <laughs> she asked if any of us had nicknames. So I thought that was a great question. Do any of you have nicknames? <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say it. It's a silly nickname for somebody almost 70. My nickname is Sissy. <laughs> My mom gave me that nickname, I guess. I don't know. I've always, as far back as I can remember, my immediate family called me Sissy. Except for my brother. He called me Carol. My middle name is Carol. And then in fourth grade, I decided I no longer wanted to be called by my first name. I wanted to be called Carol because that's what my brother called me. And I really looked up to my brother. But anyway, all my life, as long as I can remember, everybody in my immediate family called me Sissy. And my mom spelled it C-I-S-S-Y, not S-I-S-S-Y. I don't know why she used C. I have no clue. That's just how it was. That's the only nickname I have. Uh, my children, my daughters call me mom mostly, or mama. My sons call me mom or mother. Uh, both of them call me mother pretty frequently. Um, my grandkids, my oldest grandson calls me grandma. Rhett and Taylor call me grandma. My other grandson that's 21, he calls me G-ma. <laughs> because whenever I've sent him birthday cards or I... I in the text, I put G apostrophe M A. That's how I I've always I've always put G apostrophe M A as my name. He's always called me since he could read. He's always called me G Ma, <laughs> G Ma. <laughs> um, <laughs> at work, I worked in a library for twenty years. Eighteen years of those, I worked in the children's department, and I was the story time lady. And uh, people at the library and the kids in story time called me Miss Carol. And so I'm Miss Carol. I was Miss Carol. Now I'm Grandma or Gma. <laughs> I don't have any other nicknames. Do you have what nicknames do you have? Uh, what do your grandkids call you? What do your kids call you? Okay. Uh, we're so excited for Casey's birthday. The kids and I can hardly wait for it to get here. I have the stuff I have shown you. We also have a, a mug. I don't think I showed it to you. I'll, I'll get Taylor to read what it says to you on a video <laughs> after Casey opens her package. Um, Casey wants carrot cake. She doesn't want to do a big lunch uh, on her birthday because she... Would rather we spent that time playing games. So we're going to play games. Uh, the kids are spending Wednesday night. They'll go to, they'll come Wednesday at like at five. They'll go to church with Casey, come home. And one of the kids will spend the night at my apartment. And the other will spend the night up at Casey's apartment. They're her niece, niece and nephew. Um, then when we get up, if I have not gotten cinnamon rolls made, then we'll have blueberry muffins. My kids' entire life, we always had blueberry muffins for breakfast. Betty Crocker, make them from the box. <laughs> blueberry muffins. Uh, that's our tradition. On, on your birthday, you get blueberry muffins. Although, I'm going to try to make cinnamon rolls because Casey's been wanting cinnamon rolls. When my boys were little, my boys are a year apart. We lived on Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we had this little plastic picnic table like Fisher Price or Little Tyke, something like that, in the kitchen. And that's where my little boys uh, played and ate and stuff while I would be cooking. I one, uh, uh, one birthday, I don't remember which little boy it was, but one of my sons had a birthday and I got out the muffins out of the oven, put them on their plate for them, stuck a birthday candle in the, the birthday boy's muffin, set it in front of them, and like magic, the wax melted off of that birthday candle. Because <laughs> the muffin was straight out of the oven. 
They thought I was the most wonderful, magical person on earth. So we put another candle in there and watched the wax just, wax just melt immediately off, make a little puddle. <laughs> we still have to do that just because it's tradition. <laughs> I, I had never stuck one in a muffin that was that hot before. <laughs> it just, that morning, I guess I was in a rush and just <laughs> probably trying to get the my girls to, off to school and the boy, little boys were <laughs> having their birthday muffin. But anyway, that was so funny. I mean, just like stuck the candle in there and instantly all the wax melted off that little birthday candle. <laughs> um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Her dad and stepmom are going to take her out to this fantastic Mexican food restaurant that's here in Amarillo. If you ever come to Amarillo and want good Mexican food, go to Jorge's. It's J-O-R-G-E, apostrophe as Jorge's. Uh, so good. I love their chili rellanos. And then she has a, some kind of event at church that night that she's going to go to. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing the next couple of days, baking a carrot cake and hopefully cinnamon rolls. If not, it'll be blueberry muffins. And um, I've got to get some painting done. Make your bookmarks. I, I'm i trying, guys. I just, oh, I have something to show you. I have it right here because I was going to show it to you. Where'd it go? Hang on. <laughs> See if I can cover this up. <laughs> I got a card in the mail. Um, Our mailboxes here at the apartment complex are way up at the front. This is a big apartment complex. And I never get mail, so I go, may go up there once or twice a month because I just get <sighs> mail about AARP, funeral plans, and a ton of Medicare supplemental insurance ads. That's all I get because all my bills come email. Uh, but anyway, went to the mailbox, and here was this card for me. It's from my friend Brenda in Maine at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Thinking of you and hoping the sun shines on you today with wishes that you'll soon be feeling better. Brenda, Maniac Grammy's Homestead. She says, hi, Carol. I bought this card when you were going through a med change. I hope the new med is working for you. Thanks for being a good friend. You're, you always got a friend in Maine. And she sent me some really pretty little things in it. Uh, look at this shoe. I think she, she has a, one of those machines that you can do things like this. I think she must have made that. Um, for my new subs, I, I live with major depressive disorder. I'm depressed more than I like. Um, it's treatment resistant depression. And, um, I, in, the first week of May, I told my psychiatric nurse practitioner that I just didn't think the medication I'd been on for a long time was doing enough for me anymore. And so she told me, stop taking that and start taking this other one. It, I, some days I think it's doing great, this new medicine. And, some, and I haven't missed any medicine. And then, like today, all I've wanted to do is ball. Uh, um... That's how my depression manifests itself. I just cry and have no motivation and don't want to do anything and just cry. <laughs> um, I had told, after a month, I told the nurse practitioner that I wasn't doing anything yet, you know, and I need medicine to, in order to be a functioning human. And she said, give it another eight weeks to get in my system. I see her May, May. July 30th. So hopefully by then it will be in my system enough that I can tell that it's working and doing something for me every day. But right now it's kind of hit or miss. I just am doing the best I can. That's why I can't get, I, I can't get caught up on responding to comments. I can't get motivated enough to do the bookmarks I told you I'd make, but I've got some birthdays coming up and stuff. And I really, I want to be making the bookmarks and I want to make some birthday cards. Uh, if, if you don't mind, tell me when your birthday is. Uh, don't put your address in the comments where the whole world can see. 
but tell me when your birthday is if you don't mind and I'll put it in my on my calendar um, when your birthday rolls around if I can possibly manage it and afford a stamp I will send you a birthday card I want to start doing that I haven't been doing that um, anyway Brenda, thank you so much for thinking about, oh, I just dumped those in the floor. Thank you so much for thinking about me. It, it means a lot that somebody is thinking about me and understands she doesn't suffer with depression, but she has a lot of other medical problems and she understands how it is when you have an invisible illness that is to you is a very difficult challenge, but nobody else can see that there's anything wrong with you. I mean, basically, unless you're crying, <laughs> yeah. It means a lot that somebody, and she's not the only one. N numerous of you subs have said things to me, uh, has given me encouragement and stuff. And I, and some of you have sent me cards. If you're a longtime sub and I know who you are, I will let you have my address. If you're somebody who just popped up and I don't know who you are, I am have to get comfortable with you before I'd give you my address because it's my physical address. Um, I wish it, the world weren't so scary that you have to be afraid to let somebody have your mailing address. I hate how scary the world is. But anyway, uh, I, I appreciate you guys, even in the comments, if you just say, I know you've been having some down days, chin up, buttercup, or whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I will talk to you in the next video. See you in the morning. <laughs> Bye.